Pleco is the most popular dictionary app for Chinese. It was first created by Michael Love in the year 2000 while he was studying in China. Inspired by a device he saw in a Beijing market, he hacked together a simple makeshift dictionary app that ran on his Palm PDA device. That app grew in size and functionality before being ported over to iOS and Android years later. Pleco can be installed easily via the App Store or Play Store for free. The free version comes with the built-in Pleco dictionary along with an additional public domain dictionary and should cover the needs of most students. Additional dictionaries and features can be purchased as premium add-ons, but in this video we will only cover what is included free of charge. When you first open the app, you'll land on the main search tab. Looking up characters or words can be done via the search box at the top of the app. The most common way to do so is to type in pinyin to find all characters and words with the same pronunciation. If you aren't sure of the tone, you can omit it to get a broader range of results. You can also paste in the characters directly or type them in if you know how to do so. A voice lookup option is additionally included, but I myself never use it. The killer feature, however, is the ability to write out any character by hand. Simply draw it one stroke at a time and select the exact match from the list of results at the bottom. It'll almost always work, even if you use the wrong stroke order. Lastly, you can look up characters and words using their English definition. Type in the English word and Pleco will show all entries that include that English word in their definition. Pleco calls each of these results an entry, which is any unique character pronunciation pair. Let's check out the first character entry for how. At the top, it'll show the character and pinyin. I also have it configured to show the juin too. Below in the dictionary tab will be all of the dictionary entries for this character. Here is the dictionary entry from the default dictionary, which includes examples for each definition. In the characters tab, we can see in-depth character information, such as entries for other pronunciations, along with the components within the character. In my experience, the components tab will often have incomplete data. If you want to learn components specifically, I recommend supplementing Pleco with our web application, Hansa Hero, which has complete component data that we teach for each character. In the words tab, you can see all words that this character is a part of. Lastly, the sentences tab will show you some example sentences if there are any. If we tap on any of the words in the sentence, we get a pop-up reader that shows the definition for that word. Moving on, we can view our lookup history on the history page which can be navigated to via the sidebar. The dictionary tab at the top will show the history of each entry we clicked on in the main search interface. The reader tab will show the history of each entry we navigated via the pop-up reader. When you forget what you forgot, you can use this to remember it. So remember not to forget it. Those are the basics of the free version of Pleco in three minutes. If this video was useful to you, let me know with a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos about learning Chinese. If you want to learn Chinese characters, check out our web application hansahero.com to start learning them for free. Hansa Hero is how I learned over 3,000 characters, so I know it can help you too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.